What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is a rainy, sleety, miserable, chilly Saturday here in Virginia. Yesterday it was a nice 70 something degrees. Uh, I ain't doing the fuel sending unit today, so I figured I'd go over what we keep for tools and gear on the buggy. So, for most of my gear, obviously, as you can see, I run the Milwaukee Packout system. Uh, it's kind of pricey, but if you know, the bases lock in, they're not going anywhere once they're locked in, they're waterproof. So, it's top drawer here. I've got some random fuses. Um, I, I do have the YJ factory fuse panel for the engine. So I actually had to found a company that makes like 10 amp maxi fuses, these big ones. Um, and that's what basically I run most of my system off of on some of my smaller circuits for lights and stuff. Um, I've got random valve cores, uh, the stunt Colby valves, short emergency valves, uh, torque, torque stick, uh, nine millimeter, 19 millimeter socket, uh, obviously tire gauge, uh, air hose and air chuck. I got my synthetic snatch block, uh, winch controller for when the winch battery, winch control battery dies, it's got the cable for it. Uh, another soft shackle, another air gauge and valve core removal deflator tool. Uh, obviously the best which you can ever have if you run synthetic line is the factor 55 splice tool um i've got some random zip ties and then obviously if you ever have a electrical issue it's easy to troubleshoot in the trail so i got a test light but this one actually uh reads voltage i got that off amazon for like 15 bucks or something like that um some random silicone uh the snap rings for the 06 Super Duty front hubs, uh, some random, like I said, random lug nuts, some screw screw clamps, just in case you get a hose leak. Um, that one. And then. And the big bad mamma jamma. break my tailgate while I'm doing this. Uh, half inch impact sockets. Uh, tire plug kit, wrenches, uh, half standard and metric uh, screwdrivers, dikes, wire strippers, any of those little small hand tools. Uh, I keep a half inch Milwaukee impact with me just because he wants to do things by hand all the time. Uh, the special snap ring pliers to get those snap rings in the front hubs. Uh, let's see, quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, breaker bars, the adjustable hammer. Uh, there's some 
one inch, I got some one inch, inch and quarter inches, all that big hammer. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use these yet, but this is the Moto Built, uh, I guess they, with the flat wrench or whatever, you can I take the bolt out, you know, you can put a wrench, a half inch ratchet. You can tighten your links, all your aluminum links or your steel links just to, for the jam nuts. Um, as far as tools, that's all I really carry. Um, I got more stuff in my trailer, more spare parts in my trailer. Um, it's up to you what you guys really want to carry. A basic set of hand tools, you know, as long as you can change a tire, get your drive shaft off most of that, you can get back to camp and fix it back at camp. So you don't really necessarily need to take a whole bunch of stuff with you. Uh, I mean, if that's your, your rig that you're driving there to wheel and drive home, obviously you're probably not going to hammer on as much as I would in something like this. But, you know, it's a learning experience, I guess, if you don't have it, if you don't have tools. Um, but it's better to have something than have nothing. Um, but you don't have, like I said, you don't necessarily have to do the pack out. I just like it because that's what I built the buggy for. It locks in the back back here. Don't have to worry about it. If I wanted to, I could put a padlock on it. No one's going to steal tools out of it. But obviously, it's not locked to the <laughs> to the buggy itself. I almost have to use a chain in the lock. Um, but that's basically what I run for that as far as tools. Recovery gear, obviously I've got a winch, snatch block, I got a tree saver. Tree sa a tree saver that I keep back here. And then a YJ safari top for when it's gonna rain. I have yet to have to put this up there, but we'll see <laughs> if it actually rains on the trail. I've got it to figure it out. No fair weather wheelers this time. Uh, I didn't have it with me the day we went with Marvin with, at Windrock. And of course, you know, we dipped down the trail because a big storm was coming. But what happened? We missed the end of the trail because the big storm never came. But uh, yeah, so that will come in handy, tools. All right, guys, so my whole tool storage just fits in here just like this. Keep, this stays in there pretty good. This ain't going nowhere, as you can see, so that locks into that plastic base. Um, there are companies now that make those out of metal, so if you're building something, you want to weld it in or something more sturdy, but that plastic Milwaukee one hasn't broke yet, so, you know, and I've bounced this thing off trees a couple times. Yep, so just like that. Close the little fancy space. Okay, okay. It's been dented by a tree. Lovely. All right, and as you guys can tell, for onboard air, I run a 10-pound power tank, um, which actually operates my front lock comp locker. Um, so I really only need air to unlock it. With so it is always locked. But in case I need to air up a tire or do anything like that in a pinch, I can take it off. That's why I have the air hose and chuck. Um, also, I keep a 15 pound in my trailer just for tires and trailer tires and stuff like that. But, all right guys, this next thing I wanna show you is really freaking cool. And I just got it uh, the other day and finally put it on. Um, I've seen it, Rep Gear runs one and Wheeling Out West one, runs one. He actually did a video on this too. I could probably try to link it below in the description. But this is the Blackfish Fabrication Ready Rope Quick Release. So when you run a kinetic rope, um, a lot of times, you know, it's cold enough. You've got it in the back somewhere, your buggy, your Jeep, whatever. Um, and it's a lot easier to just use this than have to get your winch out and try to get somebody rolled back over, tugged out in a quick snatch. So basically all you do, just put it in, throw it up, take it off. You're ready to go, hook up, do your safe recovery, and put it back on. Um, it's in three different styles depending on how you want to run it. Um, if you want to have it in your you know, quick release on the inside here or outside, if you're going to have it on your left side, right side of your buggy. Um, but yeah, it's a quick, easy, you know, it makes, makes recovery a lot more simpler. 
than having to worry about relying on your winch all the time when all you really need is just to go a couple feet and tug somebody back or roll them over. Um, but yeah, check it out, Blackfish Fabrication. Um, free ship, I get the shipping's included, I think it was like 89 bucks. Um, but yeah, man, it's freaking sweet. Cool design, you know, get one. All right guys, so I hope you, you enjoyed this video. Um, short and sweet. I know a lot of people have done this style venue before, but you know, everybody's different. So it's up to you how you want to run your tools, what bags you want to use, where you want to get your tools from. Um, all I say is cheaper the better because you're going to lose it eventually or you know, you don't want to cry over that 10 mil socket that you paid 20 bucks for that you lost in the woods. So uh, yeah, um, take it with a grain of salt. Hopefully you guys can use it, set up yours a different way and hopefully uh, the Blackfish Fabrication uh, Ready Rope spiked your interest. Uh, but yeah, until next time guys, keep it locked and in the low.